as you can see my office is still an absolute tip hey guys in this video I'm going to talk to you about creating an email marketing strategy either for yourself or for your customers so if you are at any point thinking of writing an email marketing strategy or you think email might be the key to unlocking profits and more leads and more audience from your business or for your customers I'm gonna break down my really simple three-part process for writing an email marketing strategy uh, so yeah let's jump into it Hey there funnel builders, as I mentioned in this video, we're gonna talk about email marketing strategy. It might sound like email marketing strategy is a bit of a big term, especially for a lot of businesses like yourself who are maybe like one or two person businesses, or maybe you're working with a customer that maybe doesn't really think email is that appropriate. Email marketing has repeatedly shown to have one of the highest, if not the highest ROI. It's also a fantastic asset to build as in your marketing list, your email marketing list for your own business. And I wanna show you how I get the most out of my email list. Even with a small email list, I wanna show you how you can get um, way more out of it just with a little planning. And I think people don't do email marketing strategy because they've got no idea where to start. There's billions of different types of email. So we, we, what I've done is just broken it down into three really simple areas. If you're a funnel builder and you want to learn how to sell email marketing or sell a marketing funnel, go ahead and click subscribe. And if this video was useful, uh, hit the like button. That really lets me know um, that this video was useful. You really, If you want to go ahead and do that. And then the link down below, I've got a link to my funnel business focus report which tells you where you need to focus on it's a completely custom report completely free uh, that will tell you exactly what you should focus on within your own funnel business if you want to start selling marketing funnels for 25 grand that's my current goal is to get a thousand funnel builders to sell a marketing funnel for 25 grand hence the book five figure funnels but anyway enough of that let's talk about email marketing so the first thing we want to do is split our emails up into three segments we have a daily email, we have campaigns, and we have automation. And what you wanna get comfortable with first is knowing that you're going to have to start testing stuff. Even if you're a small one person business, you're, you're only a one person funnel builder or a tiny team of like two or three people or something like a micro business, or if you're working with a larger company, the concept of a daily email might um, be very, very scary. But what I want you to do instead is think of it as a daily test. There are subject lines, there's copy, there's messaging, there's uh, email format, there's all of this stuff that you're gonna use your daily email to start testing with your market. What we're ultimately gonna be doing is taking the stuff that works in our daily campaigns and using it in our campaigns. We're gonna take the stuff that works in our campaigns and use it in our automation. And the only way we're gonna be able to fill out these three segments is if we get comfortable testing. So you'll wanna use your email as a way of testing subject lines, which is a really good way of testing like headlines and opening lines, uh, as well as like calls to action, uh, even the formatting of the emails and stuff. What a lot of people do, the mistake they make is they jump straight into automated emails and they create these crazy long like email lists with like 70, 80 email autoresponders. All the guys who have talked about that and taught that in the past have now redacted that and said that it's not the way that it should be done. There is some place for email automation, absolutely, and I want to talk about that. But it all starts with getting comfortable sending a daily email and also testing your emails and seeing what worked, what didn't work. And we're going to start here with the daily email. A lot of people get upset when I tell them they need to start sending an email every single day. They start saying, yeah, but I'm going to get unsubscribed and my customers are going to, get, are going to hate it. I'm like, why would they unsubscribe? If you're useful, if you're valuable, and I've got another video which I'll put um, up, in, up in the corner, uh, about how many emails should you send per day. But I'm gonna assume that you're comfortable with the idea of sending an email per day. And if you're not, I want you to get comfortable sending an email per day because this is basically, what would you send to one person? If you were writing an email every single day, don't try and email your entire list every single day, although you're gonna be sending it to your entire list. What would you write to just one person? That's all you need to worry about with your daily email. This is gonna give you so much insight as to how to build your campaigns and how to start building out your automation. When we talk about email marketing strategy, I think that daily emails are actually the most important piece before campaigns and automation. I've got a saying at Sell Your Service, which is if it's not worth doing a thousand times, it's not worth doing once. 
So unless I'm willing to do something a thousand times, I'm not going to do it once for the sake of it. And I am willing to send an email to my list every single day. The main thing you want to look for is feedback. So you want to start testing your uh, subject lines. You want to start testing copy. You want to start testing calls to action. You want to start testing uh, email formatting. Like I've just stripped all the HTML out of our emails now. And they're pretty much as if I've just written an email like an Outlook or Newton to someone. And the reason this is so powerful is because it allows me to take segments of my market and think, what would be super, super useful for them right now? And it might be an offer. It might be a product. It might be a service. It might be some training saying, hey, we've got this new training on X, Y, Z, jump on in. Um, even if you've only got a list of like 10 people, I still want you to get into the habit of sending a daily email list. And if your customers have got a small list, I still want you to get into the habit of, send it, of them sending a daily email because this is going to give you loads of insight really, really quickly. And ultimately, what we're looking for is um, what works. So if you uh, send, you know, 10 emails and you realize that there's one subject line that has a crazy high open rate, it's a good idea that that subject line is then going to uh, be in your campaigns and in your automations. Clearly, something resonated enough for people to start opening it. And as I mentioned, the problem is people try to jump into automation to try and replace daily email campaigns or daily outreach. If you're talking to your audience every single day, they're going to be glad to hear from you. Presumably you're helping them and presumably you're giving them value. So they want to see you in their inbox every single day. I've often said that if every time you sent an email, someone got a dollar deposited into their account, you'd be sending an email every hour and they'd be hitting refresh because they'd be like, I really want this. And there are instances of businesses that send two or three emails a day that have really high open rates, really high click rates. What this also does, the daily email I have found is actually it increases the open rate and the click rate on campaigns and it open, increases the open rate and click rates on automation as well because people get used to seeing you in their inbox. Um, it's your spam filter will actually go down contrary to belief sending a regular email your spam filter will go down because they say oh this is regular they see it as regular email communication if we focus on just one person we look for feedback and I'll talk a bit about that in the, the next one and we look at what works you're not gonna be far off this is how I test book titles blog posts entire articles YouTube scripts video ideas product ideas I'm constantly using my daily emails to get video ideas and I'm going to include below a link to my friend Cam Jarrett. He has an email planner, which has something like 365 emails uh, ideas. It's a really easy like Google sheet that you can use. And I'm going to include a link to that down below where you can go ahead and pick that up. So next up, we've got our campaigns. Campaigns are um, long stories or long sequences that you're going to tell to end up with an end result. So let's say at the end, you basically want to end it in a product sale. What I like to do is I like to split my campaigns. I like to do four per year, which means that I do one campaign every sort of three months, which means I then split my campaigns into three months. So this might be January, February, March with the product sale in March. What I like to do is take the subject lines, the email campaigns, the ideas, the topics, the product ideas, and start putting them into the campaign. As a rule of thumb, the easiest campaign that you can put together is work backwards from the product sale date and say, look, at the end of March, that's when we're going to close the sale. You don't have to do discounts. You don't have to do pricing battles or anything like that. This is just promoting it for three months. And the way that I like to do it is start with the... Um, the end in mind and I'll work backwards towards the top of the campaign at the start of that three month sequence. That means that in this month here, this is when I basically write my sales copy. So this is telling people to buy it. This is reminding them of the benefits. This is testimonials. Uh, this is case studies. This is sales letters, sales pages, video sales content, uh, walking them through the product, telling them the product exists, telling them it's live, telling them, uh, did you even know it's available? This is when we work really heavily around the sales copy. Before that, I like to give massive value. And what I mean by that is I will find content uh, that is related to the product and to the sales copy and, and to the overall benefit and, and start sending that. Again, it might be every day. It might be that I still send a daily email and peppered within that might be um, you know, massive value. This is when I do training videos. Uh, this is when I do webinars. This is when I do free content. This is when I create a lot of content. What this does 
is build up awareness of the problem or awareness of the potential solution. Uh, so this is where I'll also recycle previous content and start sending that out as well. So the previous month I give massive feedback, uh, sorry, <laughs> give massive value. And then before that, this is when I start to ask for feedback. So this is where I'm also gonna sh share older content as well. Um, again, just to, just to uh, kind of test the water and see what people are interested in. But this is when I just wanna start asking for feedback. Uh, so this might be stuff like, hey, I'm putting together some more training or hey, what's your biggest thing right problem right now? What's, your, what's the goal that you're working on? Um, this is when I wanna start driving awareness and start kind of bringing people together. I want messages into my inbox. I want people to start telling me, oh, I'm working on sales, I'm working on lead generation, I'm struggling with niching. And again, if you're doing this with customers, you wanna get feedback from their customers, like what are they stressed about? What are they worried about? Start sharing some older content and testing that and seeing what people are clicking on. It's really interesting because around, for example, January time of year, people's main problems are uh, seasonal depression <laughs> and wanting to save money. So if you're having content like that, people are gonna be more likely to open that kind of stuff. And again, you're just warming up the inbox. And then, what we do is we move forward into giving massive value. So you might take the feedback and it says something like, we're putting together some new training or we've got some products that we've got lined up or what's the biggest thing you're working on right now? And people come back to you and they say, oh, I'm, we're working on uh, saving money or lead generation or I want to start losing weight again or whatever it is. And you go, great. The next month you focus on giving massive value. The more value you give up front, the easier it is for you to start making sales. And then in the third month, that's when you start to sell heavily and tell people that this is where you can buy it. This is where you can take the next step. Testimonials, case studies, uh, and start telling them about the product and giving those calls to action. So that's how I like to create campaigns from my daily emails. Automation, I've got a love-hate relationship with. Automation absolutely plays a role and we make a lot of sales on automation for a lot of our products. But it's not like I could then just take that entire campaign and copy and paste it and just get go because it doesn't really work like that. What you can do, however, is take the sales copy that works because remember, we're always measuring, right? We're always measuring what's working, uh, what's converting, what's um, uh, getting the results that we're looking for. So I might take the, some of the sales copy and put it in the automation. What I wanna do ultimately is have a goal for my automation more than anything. In my particular case, my goal isn't actually to generate revenue for my automation, it's to get people used to opening my emails. So anyone who's new, who comes in, I might take some of the older content that gets shared and gets opened and gets read. I might take some of the subject lines and some of the, the value-based content that really, really works and stack that in like a three to six part uh, email autoresponder sequence and just say, hey, here's some free training. Here's an email course we put together. Here's a sequence I'm gonna take you through. I'm just gonna share some of our best content with you. And then I might add in three to six sort of sales emails um, that are based around a product that have worked, but I'm not gonna exclusively rely on that automation. I'm not gonna exclusively um, use automation as a way of replacing sales. The campaign structure is still extremely important for generating sales and also allows you to start breaking stuff up. And it means you're only gonna be doing sort of three to four sales campaigns um, a year in total because the rest is going to be listening for feedback, finding out what people want, giving massive value, and then closing based on the topic that you've chosen beforehand. All of this, of course, wants to fit around the overall vision for the business and the overall goals for the business. Like, what does your customer want? What do you want? Uh, and you want to make sure it fits around it. But truth be told, if I had to just focus on one of them, I'd focus on the daily email and I'd get used to sending emails every single day and get comfortable communicating with my list every single day before building out anything more complex because you'll begin to see patterns and things that work. I was really surprised that Lots of you guys um, and other funnel builders and my customers are really interested in finding a niche. That never occurred to me beforehand, but it's become extremely uh, prominent in my inbox and the messages I receive and the books that I write and the content I create and the things that people click through to. So that's where a lot of our content comes from. 
our ideas because I'm listening to the feedback that comes from our daily campaigns and that that feeds into my campaign uh, and my automation. Do you send a daily email? Have you ever used an email marketing strategy like this before? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, like I mentioned, I've actually got a, a video that I'll link up in the corner uh, talking about how many emails you should send per day and how many is too many and what's considered spam and all that kind of stuff. In the meantime, if this video was useful, hit the like button, that really helps me out. If you are a funnel builder and you wanna sell a marketing funnel for at least 10 grand or 25 grand, uh, subscribe because I produce new videos like this every single week. And also give this video a share because you might help out a funnel builder who thought that there was no one out there who understood their problem. And it's up to us as funnel builders to start welcoming more people into that community. Can't wait to see you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Mike Killen. Have courage, commit, and take action.